Welcome to the Suerte del Molino farm, Andalusia in Spain. As soon as we thought it was the last of the rain of the season, it is raining again. We are very, very pleased with it. It looks like we already have received half an inch, about 11, 12 millimeters. So wonderful. The chickens are all gathering here under the canvas. You don't like it wet, huh? I have carried the firewood out. And now it's in the rain. I stacked some wood for my personal evening fire. That's also wet, but that's fine. I'm happy. I have some canvas, triangular canvases, and I have some hay here, and I have the excavator here. Today was the day for planting sorghum, but I don't think it will be. Here in the sandbox, I've planted lots and lots of ashwagandha and also more asparagus a few odds and ends in cuttings and these cuttings they are here for perhaps a month already and it's looking good opened it so that it can get some air and water, some life. The duck still sitting on the eggs. I don't know when they will hatch. I hope. Lots of the grasses are falling over by themselves and uh, they grow, grew, looks like too much, too fast, but that's fine. Now I'm getting wet here with all this wet grass, but I'm happy. Here we have a swale, we filled it with organic material and then to facilitate the flow of water, because we also used it as a canal, we took all the organic matter out and now we have the organic matter back again. Uh, not a very efficient system but until something better showed up in my mind this is how it will be this upper part I deliberately didn't backfill because I want to see how it works with the top end of the swale and the heat and the drought and the summertime. It's amazing we had uh, 12 millimeters of rain but it's absolutely no water flowing so it is being absorbed Let's see what's happening in the creek. Okay, here at the top end of the creek and the water from the street. Still filling up. 
if it carries on raining like this I might get some water down the canal this is the southern border the highest part of the land and uh, I'm on my way to the east the sharp end of the pizza slice shape of the land Spain experienced a an electricity blackout for two days I didn't even know about it because we work off solar only thing I knew is that I had no internet and uh, now we have internet again so it's amazing living here on the farm I don't know things like this and without internet nobody could tell me either or I couldn't see it some water collecting in this upper canal the grasses have doubled their height in the next week last week and in the next week it will even grow more so uh, with the rain it's heavy it full topples over okay uh, a little bit of water coming from the road this is the middle swale system canal feeding this system and I've decided to plant it something on the berm of this tiny swale so uh, we have a carob another carob lots of other plants in between a uh, home oak and then the a dog the brush the bush that grows around our house which I will still find the name lots of home oaks I had in pots that I planted here this is a jacaranda Just such a beautiful lily. The uh, berries we transplanted are growing. Blackberries and blueberries and also lots of ground covers in herbs and that is a good sign This is the interesting thing about citrus suddenly it loses all its leaves turn yellow I don't know I did feed it a special uh, nitrogen combination for citrus trees but it's not working 
Anyway, we finally gave up on harvesting this uh, artichoke because we are choking on them. We had so many of them already. The other citrus trees are fine. The red cistus. And I took one of the trunks of the vines and I just stick it in here and it's growing. The test will come when the temperatures reach 40 degrees. This one lost its leaves, I fed it, got its leaves back, the citrus. It's so nice to walk here and get this scent of these uh, orange blossoms. The creek, there is still some flow and the flow will now perhaps increase. Absolutely wonderful, wonderful. The swamp will now resurrect itself as suggested by the community I inoculated the pond with some of these uh, organic material. Let's see, the dogs are not so impressed with the rain but they will always come out with me. Ducks, geese are in their element. Till next time, goodbye.